And joining us today, we have Dr. Christy Preston, Nutrien Senior Agronomist, is with us. And uh, Dr. Preston, great to have you on the show today. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am fantastic. I appreciate you joining us. We're talking fertilizer today, and I think, you know, it's no secret, just to start, we've obviously seen very high fertilizer prices. It's a concern for our growers uh, across the country. You know, prices have come down a little bit in some cases, but they're still very elevated. And I, I'm sure you're hearing from a lot of growers just how much of a concern that is. Uh, you know, maybe not necessarily this past spring, but going into this fall and into 2023. Exactly. And with, with that being said, we're looking for specialty products that protect from nutrient losses and products that are versatile where you can apply them in the fall or you can wait till next spring. But ensuring that those nutrients are there when we need them the most is definitely going to be key for, for this year and this upcoming year. Very, very true. Well, farmers obviously trying to find the best ROI and make sure that they're they're getting the right uh, nutrients for their crops. Let's talk smart nutrition uh, with Nutrien. Tell us a little bit about this product and, and what makes it a little bit different. Yes. So smart nutrition, MAT plus MST is still a relatively new product. It's only been on the market for over, a little over a year now. And the fertilizer grade is a 943016% sulfur. And what this product offers is versatility and application timing while also being a nutrient dense fertilizer. I mean, you're thinking 943 and 16% sulfur, you're getting a little bit of nitrogen, you're getting a, a high concentration of phosphorus, and then you're getting 16 units of sulfur within one product. And so this is really allowing farmers to cover more acres with, with a nutrient dense fertilizer. Well, and obviously talking about, you know, a high nutrient density. Um, and like I mentioned that ROI, you know, I, I think about farmers, you know, as they're looking to, you know, maybe cut some corners, we don't want them to, but getting a product to like, like smart nutrition is, is something that can maybe step in to, you know, be a great substitute if they're looking to, you know, possibly uh, maybe save a few dollars, but still get a great return on investment. Exactly. And, you know, I really don't like to talk about balanced fertilizers per se, whenever you're looking at nutrient applications, but the Smart Nutrition product, since it is high in phosphorus and high in sulfur, is capable of applying both of those nutrients at a high enough rate that you're not having to supplement, most crops you're not having to supplement with another sulfur source. And so Smart Nutrition Mat Plus MST this fall will allow you to apply both your phosphorus and your sulfur at the same time. Talk to me a little bit about some of that fall application. If, if farmers are using this product, what are some of the steps they're going to take? Is there any differences from, uh, say, traditional products they've used in the past? What are some of the things they need to keep in mind? What we want farmers to know the most is this product does require some incorporation. So we do recommend you, you can, you can surface broadcast and then come over with some type of incorporation to make sure that when those, when the soil temperatures do warm up in the spring, you're getting that optimum oxidation rates. And so, you know, every time you mention elemental sulfur, farmers kind of freak out because they want to know if it's going to oxidize quick enough, if it's going to be available this growing season. And the answer is yes, because the MST in the MAT plus MST is micronized sulfur. So it's a smaller particle size, so it will increase the oxidation rate. But not only is it smaller particle size, but since um, since we've been able to incorporate the MST in our MAP production facility, the two solutions are mixed together and then the product is granulated. And so what that allows is uniform distribution within each granule. It's not a layering process or, you know, something doesn't have to break down. So if we apply it this fall, generally we say follow 
you know, follow your, your nitrogen applications this fall. You know, wait till the soil temperatures drop below, say, 50 degrees. That's just a good benchmark for a reduction in microbial activity. That doesn't mean that it's not still happening, but less chances of microbial activity happening, you're not going to see those oxidation rates until the soils warm back up this spring. And that's what allows it, the elemental sulfur to not be converted this fall into sulfate and then potentially lost with high rainfall events, high snowfall melting. Definitely, definitely. And I know as well, looking on, on the website, smartnutritionmst.com, you guys have a lot of great information there as well. A lot of trial data, whether we're talking corn, soybeans, canola, even cotton, etc. You guys have a lot of information there that if growers are wondering a little bit, want to see some of that great trial data, you guys have quite a bit of it online. We do. And Actually, we've done quite a bit of work with the fall versus spring applications to make sure that the sulfur does stay within the soil, make sure we're seeing the same yields uh, as spring applications, and specifically in Minnesota. And we're year after year, and in some cases, actually the fall application is, is better than the spring. And so just knowing how to use the product is, is kind of my number one goal is to make sure, yes, guess what? You might not have been applying sulfur over the past couple of years, but crops still need it because we've seen a reduction in acid rain. And okay, we're not seeing, we're seeing more purified fertilizer sources. So they don't have the sulfur that's traditionally been applied there either. And so making sure that farmers know there's not a good soil test and so most of our recommendations for these crops are based on removal rates. And granted, those can change variety to variety, but just having a general idea. And if for some reason you see sulfur deficiencies one year, maybe you should consider applying a little bit more sulfur the next. Well, Christy, I'm sure if uh, producers want to learn more, the website I mentioned, smartnutritionmst.com, or I'm sure they can contact their local retailer or their local uh, agronomist with nutrients to learn more, can't they? They can, as yes. Fantastic. Well, with that, Dr. Christy Preston with Nutrien. Appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you.